Zer's in the hangar in the tower, and he is currently selling. Uh, God, I forget the name. Monte Carlo. Uh, Monte Carlo is a pretty good weapon if you want to have more melee. Dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully charge your melee ability with each kill. And then Markov Chain, this weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. Uh, melee grants ammo for this weapon. So I would recommend this weapon easily if you're doing like a melee build or if you like auto rifles. Specifically, this is, this is the melee weapon. So... If you're a Titan that likes to punch a lot, if you're a Warlock that likes to punch a lot, if you're a Hunter that likes to punch a lot, this is going to be the gun to go to. So I highly recommend you to pick this one up. For Hunters, we ended up getting Gemini Gestures. I don't think this is the best exotics for the Hunters. If anything, I think this is like pretty weak. I mean, it's fun to meme, but at the end of the day, it's like, it's not that great. Although... The perks on, or the stats on it look pretty dope. 18 mobility is definitely something you want to see on a hunter. Uh, 12 recovery, which would turn into a 22. At least I would I would uh, put the stats on it because uh, this, is, this is actually pretty decent. The only thing that a lot of people wouldn't like is the fact that discipline is a little too high. And they would much prefer if like 14 was on intellect instead. I personally fuck with this. Uh... For, the, for those that don't know, dodging disorients nearby enemies and temporarily removes their radar. This really doesn't matter because the, the the disorient is not that crazy of a thing. People will still kill you. It's not that crazy. So for me, unfortunately, even though the stats are pretty good, I just wouldn't recommend these. Uh, Dune Marchers, I would recommend easily for you to get this because they're really good. Increased sprint speed. Sprinting builds up static charge after melee attacking an enemy. The charge will chain damage to nearby enemies it's a stupid exotic in my opinion especially since they buff the range so now it's like 20 meters for the static hit to, to hit people i recommend it it's such a good exotic it easily easily makes you feel the difference of speed like titans you'll definitely already know that this is like the one to go to when you're not playing stasis because it just makes you faster and last but not least astrocyte verse Blink further and more frequently, weapon readies quickly out of blink and radar remains up. This one I recommend as well for Warlocks. The only thing I kind of am sad about is the fact that recovery is at 3, which is pretty dog shit. Uh, you definitely want to see recovery a little higher. For Warlocks, you specifically want recovery, discipline, intellect, or strength. Those are really good. For me personally, I would go for something along the lines of like resilience, recovery, and discipline, and, and an intellect. All of these would probably be the ones that I'm going for, and mobility and strength would probably be things that I don't care about. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, again, unfortunate that you guys have three recovery on that, but these are still that good, so I would recommend uh, if you don't have it. But, all like 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 every video that I make of Zert, I recommend all of these, even if like you don't... Like, even if I say don't get it, if you don't have it, like in general, just pick it up. Might as well have it in your collections. That way, if it does get a buff and it gets really good, then you just can get it from collections. So even the only reason I say don't get it is if you already have it in your collections. If you don't have it in your collections, scoop it up. I highly recommend it. And then let's actually see what we get this week. Aeon Swift. Okay, I'm okay with this because uh, they got... Ooh. Oh shit, dude. What the fuck? 23 in recovery, bro. Jesus. Okay, I can fuck with this. Um, let's uh let's get another exotic cuz now I'm feeling extra spicy. Um, let's get that real quick. And then uh let's just grab another one. <laughs> All right, this is damn that that shit motherfucker. God damn it. Um, let's see, let's see how, what, what rolls it dropped with. I'm going to look at it and, uh, dim because I don't want to walk all the way over there. It is, fuck, oh shit, okay, okay, mobility's at 14, resilience at 13, recovery at 18, discipline at 12, intellect at 2, and strength at 14. Damn, dude, this one's good, what the fuck, it's probably better than the one I have currently on. Um, let me see. Oh, definitely, bro. What the fuck? 
Oh shit! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all need to see this roll. Um, let's put this one away. Take this one out. This is a, this is probably the longest video I've made for this, but like, look at this, bro. 18, 14. So it's like literally like two perks. Oh shit! It's literally the same one, <laughs> almost, almost the same one. But I think this one's stats are just that a little bit better because now one so it'll t okay hold on let me let me t let me put that so this is the old one this is the new one Ooh. <clears throat> that's what you want to see dude you want to see something go incrementally better so this is actually pretty good i'm actually pretty happy about that i don't really care about intellect but we'll uh, if you guys want to ask me about that question then ask me in the in this video and i can make a video on that but that's pretty much it let me know you guys thoughts in the comments below and i'll see you guys later